Up in the sky! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it new DLC characters from Mortal Kombat X? Now called Mortal Kombat XL! I'd say so! If you read the title of this video, you would know that, wouldn't you? What's going on? It's... Super Dude! Back again to talk to you guys about Mortal kombat -y stuff. And last video I talked about the Combat Pack 2 as a whole, and I told you I'd be doing reviews of the different characters. And I'm going to do that. And today, I'm going to start with, let's see, TikTok. I'm going to start with Bo Raicho. And the reason being... <laughs> Is because I'm going to do Bo Raicho at the beginning, the two guests in the middle, Flawless Victory, and I'm going to be doing the two, the final one at the end because it's the most cumbersome to do. Now, I'm going to be talking about each variation. I'm going to be talking about my impressions playing as each variation since I have, and I'm going to be talking about my impressions of the character as a whole, what I like and what I don't like. So, that being said, on to Boracho. Okay. So, let's see. Boracho. I'll go my least favorite variation and then talk about my next favorite, then my favorite variation. Okay. Alright. Oh. Alright. So, Boracho. Drunken Master. It's very difficult because in Drunken Master you have to keep putting in a button input to take drinks of your little your little sippy cup and it becomes it becomes a hassle because if you don't do it it stuns you with a puke stun and it opens you up opens you wide open for a combo and if you play the people that I play getting opened up for combos is dangerous However, it does have some interesting tidbits about it. It has some interesting moments. For example, if you drink enough, you can do a spin move, like a headbutt spin move. It's a very interesting concept. If you... you can do, It gives you a couple unique moves if you're on a certain level of, of drunky drunk, drunky poo on there. And, uh... My my overall rating from a 1 to 10 for this variation, I'm going to give it a 6. Simply because it's a cool idea if you can pull it off. Like, it's a cool it's a cool thing to do if you can get it done. Like, if you can be good with it, it'd be fun to watch. Like, I would love to see a professional player get good with that variation of Bo Raicho. But I don't see it happening. Next up on my list, Dragon's Fire Bo Raicho. Pros about Dragon Fire Bo Raicho. It's fire. It's fire. He spits fire at you. <laughs> right there. Right in your face. I like how they pulled that the idea of <clears throat> drinking alcohol and spitting fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like it. And I'm looking at Bo Raicho now. And I know I spin around the camera all the time. But it's okay. Um... Dragon's Fire Bo Raicho is really interesting because it can do a forward fire move and it can do a ground fire which is like a like a like a bonfire on the floor. It's really it, it's interesting to me in that aspect. It his gas clouds that they do his gas clouds um can be ignited if if you're in that variant. I don't think they can be in the other one. No, no. But um, a good strategy for that would be is would be to put the fire on the ground and then your opponent's either gonna back out, back up real quick, and then you run in for some type of combo, or you can put it down and he'll come forward and then you just hit him in the face with a fire fire breath 
So one out of ten, I'm gonna give it an I'm gonna give it a seven point five. Simply because it's really cool visually, but there's not a whole lot more to it than that. I will mention that in those two variations only, you get, instead of doing the flying kick like you'll get in the third variation I'm going to talk about, you get a belly bash. And I'm only going to say this because I know somebody would be really mad at me if I didn't mention what this move was called. If you EX the belly bash... If you, I really don't want to say this, but I will. If you EX the belly bash, it is called the, the, the bump and dump. Woo! It, it, <laughs> yeah, I'm not laughing at the name. I'm laughing at the reaction to the name, but there you go. Now. Moving on to my next variation, the final variation of Bo Raicho. Barjitsu, it's called Barjitsu, but it makes me sound, I don't, I don't it, it just, it just hits my tongue weird. So I'm going to call it Barjitsu, Barjitsu. Basically, he gains a series of moves implementing a cane of sorts. I like this variation because this variation is very com. It's easy to com to get four or five hit combos out of this variation. It's easy to get a series of combos out of this variation because he does like a back for uh, a down back move where he does a spinny stick and he does like a buzz saw sort of stick thing, which is cool. And then he does the, like the overhead pole cane thing. There's really a lot of mix-ups you can do with that stick, and that's something I like. To see. I like the visuals of the stick. I like the fact that the flying kick requires him to be propped up on the cane. That's something unique to him. Now, 1 out of 10 for this variation, I'm going to give it a 9. There are very few variations I've ever given a 9 to. Why am I giving a 9 to this one? I don't think I've ever given out variation numbers. I have to do that. Is that something you guys want to see? I mean, go through the variations and rank them and give them numbers. Tell me. Um, the reason I give it an, a nine is because it has some of the coolest visuals of all of the Bo Raicho move set of all of the Bo Raicho possible things you can do, possible combos, possible moves. It has the coolest ones to me. Now. <laughs> This character is one of the characters I don't use very often, or I haven't used very often, but when I use him, I have fun using him. And I feel like that's what he's meant for. Like, I feel like that's what he's meant to do. Like, he's not meant to be taken seriously, like most of the other characters in this game. He's not meant to be taken seriously. He is hes the drunken master. Like, he's going to drink rice wine and then ruin your day with probably his feet. Or his belly. Or the um, the aforementioned EX belly bash. Now, my impressions of the character overall. I enjoy the character's moveset. Even, even though it's full of childish humor and stuff like that. I really like his interactions with everybody, like the one interaction he has with Liu Kang and Kung Lao effectively is he'll tell Kung Lao, ah, my favorite student. Oh, but, but, I love his voice, his voice actor, his voice, his voice and his voice actor are my favorite part of this entire character. Now, he tells Kung Lao, you are my favorite student. And then he's, Kung Lao's like, you probably tell Liu Kang the same thing. And then he's like, oh, something. And then he says something to the effect of, yeah. Uh -huh. And then Luke, when he tells it to Liu Kang, Liu Kang's like, you probably tell Kung Lao the same thing. And then Bo Raichu gets sassy and he's like, well, at least he has earned it. And you're just like, oh, Bo Raichu, savage. I won't repeat what he says to Predator, but it's mean. 
And Arnold Schwarzenegger said it to Predator. That's all I'll say. The the things that Bo Raicho says are great. The interactions he has with some of the characters. There's a cool Easter eggs in there that I'll talk about later on in a separate video. But a lot of his intros are, are really just callbacks to, to some of the old games or interesting things to see in the first ever game that's had intros in it. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, they sort of had intros in Mortal Kombat 9, but that was really just game cutscenes that turned into a fight. It wasn't really interactions. It was just game cutscenes that led into a fight. These are, no matter what you're doing, even if you're not in story mode, you're going to get these interactions, and that's cool. That's a cool thing about Mortal Kombat X as a whole, but that's what makes Bo Raicho a cool character even more is the interactions he gets with the other characters on the roster. But that will about do it for this Bo Raicho review. He's a cool character. 1 out of 10, I'll give him a 7.5 overall. Just for being him, they didn't change a whole... They didn't... They gave him... They didn't take away a lot from him in his other games. They really gave him new stuff is all they did. They really didn't take away any of his moves that I can see. I mean, I could be wrong, and if you see a move he de he has that he never did, or if you see a move he doesn't have that he used to, uh, let me know in the comments or Twitter, you know, the, you know the whole thing. I'm going to start linking my Twitter and all that down in the descriptions of these videos as soon as I figure out how. Um, I'm getting a friend of mine to, <clears throat> to help me with that. As you can tell, I'm still pretty sick with um, recording this. But I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna try to do the rest of the characters today, maybe if I can. But that's been my review of Bo Raicho. Look forward to my review next. Um, I'll flip a coin when I when I stop recording this video to decide who I review, which of the guests I review first, and which gets reviewed afterwards. But um, <coughs> and. I'll um I'll decide I'll decide on that and then I'll start recording that probably after I start uploading this and this is all finished uploading so I can erase it so I can have more room on my camera. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have been super friends and coming from the Fortress of Broitude Super Dude saying up up and away.